let's try and make a stupid amount of money off the worst game imaginable. And this all starts in a garage, which we share with the DeLorean. Game number one has a nice ring to it, but I think that's too complicated for my stupid buyers. So we're literally just going to call it one. The topic's going to be abstract because nothing is going to make sense. The genre is going to be strategy. It's an abstract strategy uh, for PC. Because look at that cost, one quarter of the cost for more or less the same market share. Not only that, it's going to be text-based because we're cheap. It's a text-based abstract strategy game. Now obviously, since it is a text-based strategy game, we want to work really hard on the engine so we can maximize those graphics. You what? Stories and quests in a text-based game are obviously mean nothing, so we're just going to top up gameplay. And I've now realized how these work, we're strictly going with engine. The process of game development. Well, we'd better work on level design and level design only in a text-based abstract game. Um, we need good graphics, and that's all we need. We're quickly running out of money, but we're gonna have an amazingly bad game to show for it. We have no bugs. So let's go on ahead and finish this disaster. Experienced gained 9 and 12. So, uh, that all looks basically like that. We're gonna go ahead and release this to the public. Spread our wings and fly. Or, I guess this does make sense. This was kind of the point. We wanted to make the stupidest game that somehow performed the best. And so far, we're accomplishing that. We're going to spend some of our research points to uh, get a new topic. We obviously need to make a ninja game. And our first week of sales, one sold 952 units. We sold almost 1,000. Our absolutely garbage game sold 1,000. So the sales are just slowly going up. We're just slowly making money, but it's time to make our ninja game. This one's going to be called 2, just so we don't get confused. This is going to be a ninja simulation where you just hide from things a lot. And since we're making some money, we're going to put that on the G64 for all that market share. We'll go ahead and give this one some 2D graphics because who doesn't love a 2D game? And we're not going to worry about the engine too much uh, until we have an engine of our own. So we're mostly just going to go something like that. And our old game is still selling reasonably well, so we still have money. We're not bankrupt yet. We definitely don't need dialogue in this game because we're ninjas. We just need artificial intelligence and level design. I'm not really sure if we're doing things good or bad. I do see green bars, so I assume we're doing okay. Development stage 3, sound is of little importance. You don't actually need to hear things in a game. Especially a ninja game, what would you even hear? They're completely quiet. Platform news, the G64 is steadily outselling competitors. That's good because I'm minus $43 now. Better go ahead and wrap this one up so we can try and turn a profit. Your bank account is in the red. Thankfully, your bank has enabled you to overdraw up to $50,000. That's very kind of them. I'm basically going to withdraw 42 grand and leave the country. All right, how's our new game looking? Not much fun. This is going downhill quickly. We made a worse game. We didn't learn anything from the first one. So we still got some work to do because we clearly don't understand how to make a bad game but make it sell. We're basically trying to make Fortnite. Uh, it looks like it's selling decently well. We'll make some money there. Uh, we're not going to research a new topic because I want to save up to make my own game engine. This game is creatively going to be called number three period. This time we're going to make an airplane game that's an adventure and we're gonna spend pretty much all of our money just putting it on this platform yeah we're just gonna make it 2d graphics i'm thinking like a side scroller but not a very good one because i'm already over the idea of this game i'm just gonna make everything completely balanced uh i still don't think sound is very important so we're actually gonna leave that there i just cannot for the life of me acknowledge that sound is important the best way to not have to worry about bugs is to pretend they don't exist we got a new record for experience Oh, we leveled up level design, so that's what we should ride on for the rest of this. And graphics, we're going to make a beautiful game. Alright, the reviews came in for game number three. We're already seeing some potentially higher numbers there. Okay, I think four is the highest we've got so far. I'll take a four. I'll take two fours. We're learning. Please be like an eight. Can we get some weirdly disproportionate review? Four, four, two. And we can do contracts now if we need extra money. We don't. We're, we're up $5,000. We're the most successful game developer ever. Alright, 4 is really going to break barriers, because it's going to be a crime game. It's a crime RPG. We're going to roleplay criminals. But we're going to go for those beautiful 2D graphics again. Now, I believe the engine and gameplay were both wonderful, so we're going to focus solely on those. We're going to stick to what we're good at and pretend nothing else exists. We don't need dialogue in a crime game. Talking to people is overrated anyway. Who wants to do that? And let's not worry about sound at all on this one. We want to focus strictly on the beautiful world. We're going to have the most beautiful, stunning world with absolutely nothing to do in it. And we're going to wait till those bugs are gone, then we can finish. $22,500 in the hole, but we did get a new experience record. 
Engine and gameplay have leveled up. Those are the two I was worried about the whole time. Artificial intelligence. Okay, we got all sorts of good stuff leveled up. All right, let's get some reviews. I'm not optimistic about how this one's going to turn out. Mm, well, that's okay. Numbers are fleeting anyway. But maybe it'll be a big seller. Just because it's not a good game doesn't mean it can't do well. We are very slowly selling. Uh, we're only $3,500 in the hole. Better make that $10,000. All right, game number five is really going to be the one that takes us off. Because it's going to be a music game. It's a music simulation game. It's definitely not going to go on the uh, TES because that costs $80,000. We're going back to the good old fashioned PC. This is going to be a text based music game because that's also cheaper. This time we're going for things like gameplay only. And then let's make the AI super smart. Caroline Richards wants an interview. No, I'm way too important for you, Caroline. Genius doesn't have time for your stupidity. Next, we're going to go with graphics. Oh, sound is probably pretty important in a music game though, huh? Maybe we'll go like that. Though we were trying to make the worst possible game, so that was kind of a stupid choice on my part. Can we get rid of the bugs now before we go completely broke? I really need this one to be a big seller. Bugs go away. Perfect. And one came back right as we were doing that. Wow, look at all the experience. I can feel it though. This text-based music game is gonna be a... Oh, okay. We actually did something right. That's the first time I've ever gotten a reward for good judgment in my entire life. Wow, we actually have some potentially big numbers here to work with. A five. Well, it's a bit short. That's way too good for us. Uninspiring. Well, we've been fours before. I think this was the cheapest, laziest game we've made so far, but it actually did the best, so it might sell not too bad at all. Look at it go. That's actually selling 2,000 units. So we're actually making a little bit of money every month. Well, not anymore. But we're going to make a custom game engine. That can't possibly be a bad idea. So our profit so far on game number five is $15,500. Uh, our loss on the crime game was $13,000. We made a profit there. We could just remake the games that are profitable a bunch of times. Our custom game engine is almost done and I've got big dreams. This is going to get really expensive. We need to actually make some money before we can do any of this. Since we're perpetually poor, we're going to have to try to make another topic. Let's go back to the ninjas because they're always a big seller. Ninja action. And we're going to go back to the G64 for that. We're going to make a 2D ninja action game because that should actually work reasonably well. It's not going to be a good game, but it should be okay. We're going to focus on gameplay and story quests. A little bit of engine, but not much. Okay, next level design is going to come up. We don't really care much about dialogue, but we're going to put a little bit in. We'll see AI and level design. The bank's worried about me. Oh, because we actually went bankrupt. So we can take $76,000 now, but we need to pay almost double that in a year's time. And that's fine. That's a problem for next year. Look who's back in the green. Professional businessman. And the bugs are going down quickly. This game is going to be a big seller. You know it is. All right, let's let her rip. Here's the reviews. We're definitely seeing better numbers than we should ever see for a game this bad. But I'll take it because I kind of need some money. Hmm, maybe I should have just done it this way from the beginning. That should actually generate some pretty good sales because it was on a better platform too. Yep, there we go. There's... 7,500 sales, which is seven times more than we've had. Wow, look at all that money now. We're up to 70,000. We should only go bankrupt in another six months at this rate. It's time to research a new topic. All right, research is complete. Let's make a new one. We've looped back around. This is just going to be number one again. An extreme sports action. That seems to make sense. We're even going to put it on the entertainment system. That's going to be expensive. $80,000. That's got to be worth it. Still going to be only 2D graphics, but we're going to make that work. Then we're going to turn stories and quests down, engine up a little bit. Hope this new console is going to be worth it. We're back down to $23,000. So there's going to be no dialogue whatsoever in this game. Strictly level design. Graphics are going to be important. World design, somewhat important. Sound, not very. So it can stay there. This is a masterpiece. I can feel it. Those aren't great numbers. I saw a 10 briefly there, so that should count for something. I feel like text-based games are the big seller. I spent so much money putting this on Super Nintendo. All right. Well, that's not overly promising. Let's make a new one. Maybe it's because we broke the tradition of naming our games numbers. I'm not ready to give up on extreme sports yet. We just need to do it worse. So it's going to be an extreme sport simulation. It's going back on the TES for 30 grand. Why not? You got to take risks. It's going to be text based because why wouldn't it be? It's going to be all about stories and quests. Uh, gameplay can stay there. Level design is fine. It's an extreme sports game. How deep could it be? Uh, we can actually take basic sounds away. That's cost saving. We don't need sounds in an extreme sports text-based game. We mostly need world design. 
I'm gonna clear out those bugs. Wait just a minute. Okay, those sales are so bad. We're just gonna go ahead and scrap that old one. How are the reviews looking? Might be our worst one yet. Wow, we're somehow getting worse. But we're still making money. We still haven't got a one yet, so we're not doing that bad. All the research is still pretty expensive. Let's, let's just find a new... Uh, we're gonna go with game development. Our ninja action game made us $104,000. We should just make more ninja action games. Oh, the bank's already reminding me that they need their money back. So we might actually need to make a, a ninja action game. As soon as we finish this game dev uh, game number nine. Uh, Text-based, uh, we can do 2D graphics on this one. We can splurge it, it'll be about two grand. This is all going to be about gameplay and a little bit about story. Don't need a lot of level design. Don't really need too much dialogue. I guess AI is what we're going for here somehow. That way it can judge our games ever so delicately, yet still critically. Uh, sound is pretty important in a game like this. It's strange to say, but it might be the most important thing. So we're just kind of, kind of, yep, that'll be fine. All right, the old game is off the market. We're going to push this one out straight away because I don't know when the bank wants their money, but it's probably going to be soon. We leveled up a whole bunch of stuff, so we're getting better at some things. Mostly just getting worse overall somehow, though, which is kind of impressive in itself. Come on, be a superstar. It's all going to be determined on three. All right, so we're hoping for a four at best and three. Right, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a new game. We're basically going to make Fortnite. That was a pretty popular game. Uh, none of these really apply, though. Ninja. Ninja Action on the Super, uh, the NES. That's going to be uh, 2D graphics again. Uh, then $136,000 has been deducted, so we can't really spend any more money. Never mind. I think we're pretty broke. You didn't even let me put all my knowledge to work. This was going to be it. I was finally putting out my masterpiece. Well, that's sad. That was actually starting to work kind of well. 